Good morning, first of all. Well, thank you very much for uh, having me. The idea behind the market dynamics at this uh, particular stage is uh, it's a very crucial stage for the uh, industry uh, in general and, of course, in the offshore industry in particular. Now, if you look into the uh, shipping and the uh, maritime industry uh, related to the oil and gas industry, we can see that the trend goes up and down basically based on the uh, market uh, strategies and the market dynamics. Uh, considering that the past few years there has been uh, a downside of the uh, oil and gas market, there has been of course a consequence on the maritime industry and the offshore industry in general. However, looking at the new opportunities that are rising right now and uh, the things that are happening in order to uh, uh, visualize what's going to happen in the market, we see that there is a huge improvement upcoming in this uh, uh, upcoming years. Uh, the idea is that uh, we can see that there is a lot of, uh, for instance, let's take ADNOC for instance, there are a lot of opportunities being created by ADNOC in terms of projects, new projects. In Aramco we have also the same thing happening. So the region in general is uh, leading the market uh, into a, a very positive uh, uh, trend, uh, making sure that we are getting into a better uh, you know, uh, type of uh, uh, international exposure for this area and for this region. And you can see that it's attracting some other locations as well. Uh, some other market trends are, uh, are actually following up, like the uh, Southeast Asia. Uh, they are also following the market trends which are created by Edno. Well, uh, uh, first of all, uh, the uh, digitalization itself is always and uh, will always be as an enabler to the industry. Uh, creating this kind of uh, tool uh, and uh, process uh, automation will definitely help into making sure that uh, we are getting the right uh, data and right statistics uh, to be able to uh, find the gaps and improve the quality of the products that we are going to deliver to our customers. Uh, take uh, an example, for instance, Marasi. Marasi has uh, uh, done a great job on uh, making sure that they are visualizing their, uh, 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 you know, the, the, the type of, uh, 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 you can call it uh, the uh, new technology into a, a very unique way that they are depending now on, on uh, uh, presenting something to the clients or to their customers which is out of the content, out of the box, thinking in different dimensions and that's why uh, I encourage everybody to go and look into what happened into Marasi for instance as a new magazine and the leader in this uh, uh, opportunity. Same thing that happens for ADNOC. We are implementing the ADNOC 4.0 based on Dr. Sultan's uh, uh, new vision. The idea was behind this was to try to create something which is called uh, a digitalization era, whereas uh, uh, process automation and uh, making sure that we are getting the right uh, contents and the right data, we analyze it and we uh, uh, kind of build into our uh, heritage of uh, being a leader in this industry. Uh, to do so, uh, Adnoc Offshore has adopted this uh, very uh, aggressively. We started with the real-time center for the drilling as mentioned by our SVP uh, in yesterday's uh, uh, presentation. Uh, today, I'm going to be also speaking about the Logistics Excellence Center, which is also another uh, way of implementing technology and implementing the uh, new uh, automation and digitalization uh, and making use of this type of uh, uh, data analysis in order to create that dashboard, which will be an enabler to our strategic uh, uh, partnership uh, uh, with, with the help of this kind of tool will definitely allow us to come uh, into a more advanced uh, uh, way of uh, handling our uh, uh, business. Digitalization is a journey and I believe that now it's the uh, right time to embrace this journey and uh, to collaborate all together in order to come up with conclusions uh, uh, to support yourself and others in the means of how you are going to use that technology. Uh, the technology by itself, by the way, is not going to be only the only enabler. The human element that is behind this technology is very crucial for the industry. You have to train your people, you have to train your teams, you have to make sure that they are well familiar with the technology in, or in order to be uh, able to use it uh, as, uh, as a good example. Uh, for instance, uh, ADNOC and uh, of course uh, ADNOC Offshore in particular are uh, doing a, a great deal of workshops uh, to our teams in order to introduce them to the right methodology of how they are going to use and embrace that kind of technology. Otherwise, if the applications and the technology and the hardware and the software is available and the teams behind them, they are not competent enough to use them, in this case, we will not have the correct formula. But to create that kind of formula, we have to make sure that both 
the human element and the technology are coming together in order to meet the expected uh, demand uh, and the expected customer service.